2022. Um, the worship team can come. I'm going to make this pretty, pretty quick. Uh, 2021, the Lord spoke to me and said that it would be a year that would be triumphant but tumultuous at the same time. And whoa, did that word come true. We had some great triumphant moments, but there were some very tumultuous times. We didn't think 2021 could get any worse than 2020, but I think they were in a contest of who can top who. But this year, as we believe in prophetic gifting, and, and, and believe me, I have laid before God to see what the word is and where we're going in 2022. 20, and that's why we did the shirts. The theme is moving on. And it's amazing to me exactly what the Lord spoke about. I got the clicker. I'm sorry about 2022. He told me two things. He said, it's time to move, or three things. He told me, it's time to move on because these last two years have caused you to be stuck. And the reason we are stuck is because anytime you start work, walking in the unknown and you don't know what's happened next, fear paralyzes you. But he told me two things about 2022. And the first thing was, it is the year of release and it's the year of fulfillment. Somebody should have got excited about that. I don't know about you, but there's just some things I've been praying for and believing God for. And he said they're going to be released in this year. His promises are going to be fulfilled in this year in your life. But there is one condition. And the condition is you got to look at what's before you. You can't look behind. You can't look to the left. You can't look to the right. You have to look to Jesus. And so it's amazing because the scripture says this in Philippians 3. It says, brethren, I count myself to have, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark of the high calling, which is in, a high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I probably should have put my glasses on before I tried to preach. Work with me. I'm almost there. And so we have to understand in this 2022, I want you to be encouraged. I know it looks dark. I know it looks crazy. But don't you know the darkest hour is always just before the day? And so we have to forget those things which are behind us. The enemy wants you to stay stuck in what was by holding on to the past. Here's your news flash this morning. The past is gone. Nobody is stuck on it but you. And you can't move forward if you're still holding on to what's behind you. And I know this is some, this is some big girl stuff for me. This is some grown-up stuff. This is for the mature because you have to realize that you just got to let it go. Yes, they hurt you. Yes, it happened. And let God deal with whatever that is. But you have to make the decision that I will no longer be kept back there thinking about shoulda, coulda, woulda, or if it couldn't have happened. I have to make a conscious decision to be able to move on. Well, well you don't understand. I'm still processing. And you can process and move at the same time. It's amazing that when God is still, you can be broken, you can still have some issues, but the closer you get to the cross, the healing that emanates from the cross begins to do a work in you, and you didn't have to take a class or a confession or tell the Father or nothing. You got to move on, and where we're moving to, we're moving closer to the cross. And the good thing about the cross is, I don't care where you find yourself today. You may think you're not worthy. You may went out. You may went to the bar. You may have an addiction. You may have all of these things. It doesn't matter. You can pivot and go towards the cross, and you're moving. It's time for us to move on. It's time for us to move on as a church. It's time for us to move on as the body of Christ. It is time for us to move on because we don't have a lot of time. The enemy cannot take your destiny, but he can delay you that you miss it. 
He can't do anything because, yes, what God has for you is for you, but if you don't walk in it, it's still going to be for you without you fulfilling it. See, that's what happens when the prophetic kicks in. You carry not the sword in vain. You start swinging that joker. You calm down. I'm not angry. I'm not angry at all. I'm excited about what God is doing, and I'm upset what the enemy is trying to do to you. Amen. Trying to keep you stuck. So we have to, number one, make the first decision to let it go. To forget those things. And after we forget, we got to press on. Do you know it's a fight? The enemy is not just going to let you sit and just walk into your purpose. He's not just going to be okay with you fulfilling all that God has called you to do. You're going to have to fight. I told you, you got to take them cute church clothes off and put on your battle dress uniform. You got to put on your war clothes because this is going to be a fight. This is not the year for the complacent, for the lazy, or for the stagnant. You're going to have to do some work this year. You're going to have to be determined to move no matter what the obstacles say, no matter what's going on around you. I don't care if it's 15 more variants. I'm going to press my way because the enemy wants to distract me and keep me out of community. He wants me not to be loving to one another. He wants to keep me in this mindset. I refuse. We got to move on from here. It's going to be a press. But you know what happens? The more resistance, the stronger your faith gets. Faith is like a muscle and doubt will work you out every time. And you got to be able to, you need to get in the gym a little bit so you can understand. I'm not going to the gym, but I'm saying you go to the gym. I got a little too caught up in my illustration. You got to begin to work out your salvation. Work. Out and all these things that are meant to hinder you, you use them as the weight that causes to strengthen you so you can keep moving towards the cross. But you gotta let it go. And I want to tell you, you're gonna let it go and you're gonna walk outside and everything's gonna be great. If I had that, I, I, you know, I'd be rich. No. It's going to take some work because you're going to have to keep remind. That's why you put it on a t-shirt. You got to keep remind yourself everything. Every time something comes up against you, every time something comes up in your life, or oh, when the world, go, world goes even crazier than it always is, because this too is going to pass. Well, best believe it's going to be something else. You have to get the mindset that I'm going to move regardless. And I'm going to be closer to the cross today than I was yesterday. I'm going to be closer to him this year than I was last year. And in baby steps, you just got to be going in the right direction. I don't care if it's an inch at a time. You can't stay here. You can't stay stagnant. You can't stay stuck. Fear has paralyzed us. Depression has paralyzed us. Anxiety has paralyzed us. Grief has paralyzed us. You can process and keep moving. come to tell you this morning it's time to move on the past is gone and I'm gonna teach this whole first quarter y'all gonna be tired of me teaching y'all gonna ask anybody else preaching because she gonna I'm on a marathon we're gonna learn how to reset restart and refocus I'm not just gonna give you a cliche word of the year and then we're gonna move on no we're gonna teach you how to move on we're gonna give you the tools the things that you need to fix your mind on the things you need to focus so that you can stay in the right mindset to keep moving forward anything that stops you is from the devil if it halts you in this season it is not sent from God there was a season to rest and now that season is over this is the season to move You gotta let it go it didn't turn out the way you wanted to that's all right I can't stay there I gotta move right now he left you she left you they did you wrong 
You, un you hold unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is like drinking poison and waiting for somebody else to die. It is not for the other person. It is for you. I got to let it go. And I may still can't stand them, but God work on my heart, but I'm moving. I'm moving toward. I'm moving closer to the cross. You're not moving in ministry because of what the last church did to you. This not the last church. I've proven by now, I wrote a book about it, go read it. This is a safe place. God has a call on your life. It is time for you to move. And the enemy wants to tell you, well, there ain't no room for you here. We got so much room. Man, look at this building. As big as this building is, that's how much room we got for ministry. There is a place for you. God's been giving you a vision to move on certain areas and certain things and certain dreams and your businesses and all that. This is the year to move. It is the year of release. It is the year of fulfillment. Stop sitting doing nothing. Because if you continue to stay stuck, you're going to be sitting here next year on New Year's on the first day of the second day of the year hearing the next message and you ain't even fulfilled the last one. So all those issues, right? Y'all want to know what we do with them? Let's see. Let's see what we did with them. See, your issues have to be taken to the cross. Everything that happens is holding you back. You just leave, leave, leave it at Jesus' feet. Go on up, and they're out there. You can, when you drive, go around the back of the crosses. It's out there at any time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can go. Not going back, I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you my past is over. And you, all things are made new. I surrender my life to Christ. I'm moving, moving forward.